Hey, how's it going? So, I'm gonna show you how to do this. We have a template, right? So we want to download this report. We click on it and it will give you the PDF. Now, the, I'm not gonna do it from scratch because the original video, you can see this one. I'm gonna link it in the description below. He goes through the HTML, like vanilla JavaScript. I'm just showing you how to do it in React, which is almost identical, right? Theoristically, the only difference is uh, you need to put window dot. Well, I'll show you the code. So in vanilla JavaScript, you just put like this and it works. Whereas in React, you have to add window dot HTML as an object. And I'm going to link this in the description below. So you have like a step-by-step -step guide how to do it. All right. Um, where is it? Like this. Okay, so I'm going to explain the code to you how to do it, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to go here. Again, it's going to be in the description below. And you want to copy this bundle here. So we want to copy it. We go to our React code, and then we want to go into um, index.html here, right? And copy and paste this code into the, um, you see head tag, anywhere at the bottom, right? I, I strongly recommend putting it at the bottom. So copy and paste the code in here. What this does is it adds the um, this thing into window object, okay? And this here, like window um, HTML to PDF, this is the template you want to um, save. And then that save will automatically trigger the save. Right, so this basically is a function by itself. So all you have to do is to tell it what you want to target. Right, so the way we do that in React is uh, we create use ref. So let's say report template. Um, so let's say we want to... You can honestly save the whole thing, but I wanted just to do the... Um, I wanted to do just the, you see this, this is like a div in here. Let me just actually put some, uh, put some style on it. So you'll be able to see that it's, uh, so style, let's do border, let's do blue. Okay. So you'll be able to see it. Oh, did I save? I forgot to save, I think, right? Style, border... Oh, whoops. One pixel, so do like this. Okay. Yeah. So this is what is going to be outputted into the PDF. So now what we do is we just attach ref to it. Right? Which is ref and whatever the name, I'm, I'm assuming you know how to use use ref, right? So this is standard stuff. You basically attach your use ref to it. And if you console log, um, right? So next thing we'll do is we'll create a button, like stand, standard, standard stuff for, um, React, right? We'll create a button to trigger the function, which is going to be like a button handle download, right? And there's our handle download function. Let me just uh, separate this for you so you'll be able to see it in isolation. Did I switch your formatting? I did, yeah. Okay. So now you see, if when we click this button, when we click this button here, Right, it's going to console log this entire HTML template. Right, there it is, you see? There is the template. 
So now we want to output this template into the PDF. And the way we do that is we simply do window HTML to PDF, whatever you want to output, right? So this is going to be this thing here. Copy and paste it, right? And then dot save. And this will trigger the save. That's it. It's that easy. <coughs> so you see you click and it outputs this thing into the PDF. And that's it. Right, there it is. Now, if you want options, kind of like name of the file, whatever the hell you want, I'm going to link this in the description below so you can see um, like how to do the file name, whatever the hell you want. You see, like, save file name, so... But I, I'm not really concerned with this, like so. There's no requirement. But like you, you can play around with it to see uh, how to configure it to do like I don't know file names, dates, whatever the hell you want. Okay. But that's essentially that's essentially how to do it. Okay. Take care. Bye bye.